Hello everyone, and welcome to another Let's Play idea. One that I've postponed for... I'm not entirely sure how long. Maybe a few months since I announced I'd do it. But anyway, welcome to Startopia. I need to adjust the sound. Because it's way too loud. And down. Not sure on that one. Down a bit. It's still half loud, but oh well. I suppose that would do. And for some reason, the music at the menu isn't working. But yeah, it's been quite a while since I decided to do Startopia. But I ran into doing, like, other random Let's Plays, and then I renewed my Star Wars The Old Republic subscription, so I haven't really been busy on video making lately. That and my internet is, well still complete shit, because I can't really upload too much without killing the entire internet. So yeah, thus I haven't really been able to do much Let's Playing. Also I got a new headset, which I need to test if the audio levels are right. So we'll be right back before we actually begin. Okay, we're back. Now then, a bit of forewarning before we actually begin on this. Firstly, if you've actually played Startopia, you're probably going to be butt clenching a lot. Because I never was any truly good at this game. Especially during the actual combat parts. Because, yeah. I mainly did the sand bots well. I just screwed around and wasted a bunch of money and built my sta or my station however I wanted to, without any care for my actual resources, which wasn't as at least smart. Secondly, I will be using a bit of modification, nothing too drastic, just light advantages, and of course some custom skins and things. But yeah. And let's see, thirdly. Ah, uh, yes. I'm trying to remember everything. It's been quite a while since I had this planned. Anyway, thirdly, I will. This probably won't be as consistent as I want it to be. Because, well. Due to my upload rates and planning of things, I can't really do this as often as I want to. And it might, and the uploads might take too long, which would conflict with other things. But anyway, let's begin. Startopia. I'm also a bit sick today, but hopefully it doesn't show up too much during these videos. But yeah, we shall begin our mission one: the Gruian Workers Party. And the little ship thing goes and closes. So anyway, this is Startopia. It is basically a space station simulation. And that thing's a bit loud. This glistening before you like a jewel is the Grulian way station. I welcome you to it. Permit me to introduce myself. I am Val, a virtual artificial life form. It is my task and possibly my pleasure to assist you during your time at this way station. And we have our this voice is in our head or such. Yay. And God, the thing is loud. The mission assigned to you, if I may be so bold, is as follows. Your employers, the Grulian Workers' Party, require you to turn this way station into somewhere the asteroid miners can relax between their arduous shifts. I shall be on hand to aid you, of course, 
and I wish you luck, speed, and freedom from stupidity. Thanks, Val. Nothing will enter or exit the way station without a docking portal. You must build one with the hard plan crate provided. Two crates containing scuzzer droids have also been provided to aid you in this task. When you've completed it, vessels will be able to connect with the station and cargoes of goods or people can arrive or leave. It's vital, so you should start its construction immediately. Immediately, I said. So basically, we have a docking portal. Which is this thing? Basically, open it like so. And move it to wherever you want to place it. Where do I want to place the docking portal? Can I get a better view? And now we deploy scuzzer droids. Scuzzer droids are very, very useful. Because they build things. They come in... God, that sound is just overpowering me. Audio. Okay. Effects. Shudder. Ambience. Master volume. Now is it low enough that I can stop hearing this? Now it's better. Oh, I, I can still just hear this concert. Uh, and again, my mic does apparently have a bit of vibration ish sound to it. But anyway. All species need to rest sometimes, it's a universal truth. So I suggest you build a berth containing at least five sleeping pods. You'll need to use the hard plan crate provided. There will be no sleep until you've done it. Oh no, no sleep until we make this. And let's see, what was I saying? Oh yes, MK droids. MK scouter droids. They come in like three types. MK1, which is basically those ones with the small blades that water around. MK2, which have tank treads and go slightly faster and such. And MK3 droids, which have rocket boosters and fly around fast and all that. But, of course, we're stuck with MK1 droids for now. And probably for most of the game, knowing our luck. And we can't build this as big as I want to build it. Which is sad. Because this is the tutorial part. They're not going to let me build it as long, big as I want to. So we'll just build something like this. I don't know. Also, for buildings, what you build like, you'd spend as long as you want and can fit. They don't all go as long as... Longer than... Well, what am I trying to say? They don't all go too long, but, yeah. Hmm, this is going to be a bit crowded, isn't it? But they didn't give me enough space to really make this how I wanted to, so... Let's just place these. Uh, there, that should be enough rooms. I want to put some... I don't even. Yeah, I don't have pots and such things yet. I have altar lamps. We could make altar lamps if I really wanted to. And let's make some altar. No, oh, fine. I'll remove the altar lamp. I apparently blocked. I don't even know how it blocked the way to there, but it apparently did. This here is a power booster. It gives us energy. Because, yeah, energy. Energy is important. Look at them go. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Yeah. Have to use the frickin' arrow keys. Because this game came out before the whole popularity of Wasso. Or however you want to pronounce it. Wasd. W A S D keys. And all that. So now we have a berth. Which basically allows us... 
allows our residents and visitors to basically have a place to sleep, which is important. A lavatron is required. These units sanitize, refresh, and clean anyone entering them. Some races are cleaner than others, but at least with a lavatron, you're giving them the option to divest themselves of all the germs, goo, and unhygienic horridness that they may be caked in. Again, you'll need to use the hard plan crate. I like Val. But anyway, hard plan crate. Lavatron. Lavatron. I think I'm throwing a dynamite over there. Can I. Yeah, this should work. Do I have the. I already have auto lamps. I was hoping for recycling bin things. Ah, yes. And of course, my custom texture pack. Indeed. <laughs> we have... Ah, where are they? Grow your insult hearts. They are wearing tuxedos. Because, yeah. Skins. Things seem to be going well. My fears that you'd be a disaster appear unfounded. Waystation Zeton Setoyi imploded a while ago when its supervisor unprimed the flux discharge tunnels and the static megaburst instantly turned the place back into star stuff. Oh, don't worry. The design of that place was nothing like this. Uh, not a business. You must construct a dynamat using the hard plan crate. This will feed the population. At least until it gets much larger. Indeed. So, a dynamat. A tire mat is basically a simple thing like so. It basically feeds the population. Because yeah. Lavatron to basically I'm guessing like a shower or toilet what was a lavatron, what am I saying? Basically that. A lavatory, whatever you want to call it. And this here is a dynamat. I can basically alter how much of things I want. I can increase the food amount up a bit. I can increase the cost up a bit. Because I'm a dick. Urgh. Doesn't really matter, we got enough energy, but still. Urgh. I'm going to increase power and money and getting. Your droids are working hard. As I have to say, are you. However, you don't need recharging, and they do. A droid recharger is your construction task. Unless you are denser than an embryonic antiquasar, you'll know by now that you'll need a hard plan crate to do this. <laughs> oh, I like Val. He's amusing, get also a bit of a dick. Alright, a uh, droid recharger. Mm, is it... Is it facing the direction I want to be? I think it is. And we have trash appearing. Yay. Because they're just dirty, dirty pigs tossing trash on the floor. Our scousers were cleaned up. Because they do that. I thought they were set to repair room equipment, build rooms. Recycle letter, clean rooms equipment. Yeah. Congratulations, your progress is certainly impressive. An impartial observer might comment that you have the luck of the roulette playing Decapus of Axis Prime. Yay, I guess. And some of the pits aren't happy that they're not getting money. Again, we have nothing for them to work with. Supervisor, your lack of ineptitude is a blessing, so it's time to open a new segment. This will give you a new area in which to expand. 
You may congratulate yourself, but not for long. There is much to do. You are aware of how the hard plan crates operate, and you'll need this knowledge to construct a wealth of new units. If I wasn't so cynical, I'd be quite excited at the prospect. So now we go over here. Behold the door. And it doesn't cost us anything to open this one. So we open such. And it's a mess. A recycling plant is urgently required. Efficiency is everything in space. By recycling, you'll convert waste, almost any waste, back into energy. Four salt hogs are required to work the recycling plant, but more of that later. Your first task is to build it in a useful position. Indeed. So we build a recycler. Which is quite big, so we're just going to put over here. And now we're going to beam up some of this trash, because... Filth. Filth. So much filth. Too much filth. I can't pick it all up. And they keep creating more filth, don't they? Indeed they do. My troys are going to be overworked. I mean, look at him. He can only move so fast. Poor thing. But that one completed all the work by himself. Good. The recycling plant is built. But as I said, you need four salt hogs to operate it. Hire them using the hire menu. Remember that although it pays to get the best, it also costs... Hmm, I must write that down. It's a useful saying. Indeed it is. So, yeah... First thing we do is empty our litter. Recycler is quite important because people don't want a messy station. Except maybe the salt hearts, but they don't really matter in the long run. I hear a bit of music. Yay. Ah, no, don't. You. Yo, you're hired. And you don't have skill, but you have dedication and loyalty. My pattern buffer is full. Yeah. You. You have skill. You shall be important. You should be the boss of this operation. Besides, I have way too much money. I'll hire two more, just in case. You, you're useless. You. Uh, you. Oh, you're decent. Anyway. Supervisor, why not help your scuzzer droids by beaming up rubbish and junk and dropping it directly into the recycler? Or is such a menial to- Who are you? Uh, I am familiar with all the way station supervisors from the Grulian worlds through the six voids right out to the Keltian black hole. You must be new. In which case, I am Arona Dahl, most respected of the free traders. Delighted to meet you. Anyway, I'm in this sector offloading some late vintage mucus wine. And as I have a couple of scuzzer droids I don't require, I thought I should give you first refusal. You'd be getting a bargain if you took them. So, scuzzer droids. God, that price sucks, but yeah. I'll get to you shortly, or on a Dow. I mean, Val. Around Dow is basically he sells things. He's basically a trader. Comes by once in a while to sell things. However, his prices are shit compared to most people's. That we'll be trading with later on. Sadly. 
But whatever. Yay. Anyway, what do you have to A say? A supervisor, I must demand your immediate attention. Some technology crates have arrived, and I insist that you open them without further delay. Today reminds me of the Grulian Festival of Crimbus, when a random selection of gifts and low-grade toxins are handed to the youngsters, who either squeal with delight or choke as their ventricles are temporarily paralyzed. Fun. <laughs> technology crates. They allow you to kill... To make these any time. Yay. Yay. Anyway, more talking with a foul. You are busy, and therefore it gives me pleasure to interrupt you, Supervisor. <laughs> Three tasks await your attention. You must construct another Dynomat, a Lavatron, and a Berth. Your population is increasing, and if you neglect these tasks, you could face a mob of hungry, smelly, tired customers. And I wouldn't wish that on you, frankly. Okay, then, Val. So, since we got... Yeah, he's happy, I think. So, since we got all of this... Go as close as possible... I still can't make it as large as I want to be. Oh well. Fine, we'll do another one like this. Copy my same design. I can't put it now. Oh well. Well, I can work with this. Salt hearts are easy to please, after all. I guess that works. And now, uh, dynamat. And now a lavatron. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry about that. That I could hit the mute button before I sneezed. But no, 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 no. I apparently couldn't. Yeah. As I did say, I am sick. Again, it is that time of the year, so yeah. Anyway, I run a Dow's back. Mm, I've seen supervisors come and go, but you look like you were doing well here. I remember old Migby Pariah. He looked like a 2D laser copy of himself when that bile worm eventually crawled out. Serves him right, I suppose. Listen, you don't want to buy a... No, I can see you're not into that. And the stuff I have is shockingly strong. Sorry, shouldn't have mentioned it. Sometimes, oh, I do is a dick. And just tells us random things. It doesn't sell us stuff. It seems that you're either a competent supervisor or you're lucky. Either way, your station is a success and you will not now suffer the fate of one supervisor many years ago. His name, I recall, was Migby Pariah. What happened to him? Oh, he had a bile worm implanted in his central eye. When it finally crawled out of his toe, it was nine meters long. The Grulian culture can be cruel, but it's also rather beautiful, don't you agree? By the way, make sure all your visitors have adequate facilities. Thanks for telling me that. Yay. <laughs> we should have adequate facilities. It would be nice if I had more things. To toss it to the thing. You know. I'm basically just wasting time at the moment. Tossing junk into there. Because we should have had a good enough things. I would think we do anyway. We just have a lot of trash. 
because my schedule drawers are still overworked. Because piggies. Piggies. It would be wise to make sure there are enough facilities to service those aboard, Supervisor. Keep a close eye on your facilities and build more if you see they're being overused. Hmm. Alright, I'll just build more anyway. How's that sound? Uh, prices, yeah. Yay. 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 Anyway... Excuse my interruption, but I have new orders from the Grulian Workers' Party Secretary. You are to expand the way station into a communications relay post. I assure the GWP that you're capable of this. I hope this faith in you is not misplaced. Otherwise, we'll both be visiting the Labour Exchange on Prodar 6. Oh no, not the Labour Exchange. Oh, Grey Travellers have also been granted access to the station. How delightful. <laughs> Grey Travellers. Oh. They were common in alien society, you'd say. Not all on the station at the moment, but yeah, you, Ooh, you're useful. Not loyal, but <laughs> well, for you guys are hired. I have money after all. The GWP have dispatched a number of TARG communication experts to your station. Whilst members of the TARG make good workers, don't be fooled by their insectile nature. The TARG are a proud race. They would say haughty and aloof. The rest of us say miserable. Your task is to keep your TARG employees happy. Keeping employees content is an unwelcome but necessary part of every supervisor's role. Who knows? One day you may even make me happy. So the TARG, and I don't have anything to make the communications relay. But yeah, we have greys now. This is a grey. Stare at him. Hmm, it's a nice skill, I'm going to hire him anyway. I don't have anywhere for him to work, but still. We have these guys. These are the TARG. I could read the random things on them, but I don't really Two hard like plan them. crates have been provided. From these you may build two comm sensors. After all, if you want to expand, you must communicate with the outside universe. That's an old Grulian cliche, if you must know. Eh. <laughs> so comm sayers. Comm sayers are basically small little things that we use for communication. I'm just going to turn these here. Accept. Can I? I probably can't fit though. Yeah. Oh uh, well, I could fit. I could fit one here, can't I? Bit odd placement, to be honest. But yeah, build, build. Now I have to say, Val. I apologize for tearing you from your presumably vital work, but an emergency message is arriving via the comm sensor channels. Oh no. We have a sick passenger. A further applied diplomat is critically ill on board. Request immediate ducking. Let's listen to the shadows of the foul for ducking now. Thank you for your swift assistance. Stand by to remove diplomat flap as soon as we come to rest. So, yeah. A diplomat VIP. 
You know, we could cure that ailing diplomat if only we had a sick bay. What course of action should we take? Well, oh, Jowzel. So, let's see what he has to say. You are clearly a supervisor of great ability. I have something you might like. I never offer this to anyone else, but I have a nearly new sick bay. It's yours if you want it. I never thought I'd sell it as it was a gift from four of my mothers. But I like your face, so it's yours if you're interested. So we get a sick bay. Because we need a sick bay. And a Rona dials is plot device. So now we build uh try to get better as long as I want. Curse you game. Okay, I'm just gonna build it randomly. And that seems large enough. Okay, door. Sick bay waiting couches. For other people to get sick at. And diagnostic units, and I can't really work with that. I polished my OCD. So I'm just gonna put image projectors hill, uh, auto lamp hill, chronometers hill. It's a bit weighing couch. It's a bit weighing couch. There we go. Accept. That'll do. That'll do. Auto lamps aren't really that useful. <laughs> but anyway, here is our sick the. The sit guy. Yeah, he says that a monk. They'll come in part later, much later in the game. Anyway, we have to hire some greys. Mm. Can't hire that guy, he wants money. And we want enough. You. Ooh, you're decent. Yes. And might as well hire four of these guys. Even though we only have three things. I mean two things. Well for shifts and such I guess. Anyway. Ah, it's the right thing. So we have the doctor going in and the patient going in. Will he be able to save the patient's life? Find out nets. Nah, I'm not going to do that. So yeah, I'm going to say L. Oh, come over L. You know what you're doing, right, Doctor? Yes, I do. Now he, that's what he's going to do. He types things on this computer flowing thing. It does scanning things. Then red things. Red things. Good news from the sick bay supervisor. The diplomat who arrived on the Zedum shuttle Surundai has made a full recovery. Apparently he drank some bad mucus wine. You, it seems, are to be congratulated on your handling of this delicate incident. Yeah, we did it. Well, amazing. Yay. Anything else? Anyway, in the next episode, we shall move on to the next level. Till then, hope you all enjoy. Thank you all. And, till next time.